All right, well, hey, how about in Summerton? Beautiful weather for you in Walker County this morning. Good morning to you here. A lot of sunshine greeting us here. Starting off the day today, not bad, 68 degrees. The dew point matching that. It's very muggy up across part of uh, Walker County. Here downtown from our BJCC camera, much of the same 71 dew point in the mid-60s. So definitely a sticky start to the morning for us. And around the area, 70 Tuscaloosa, Moundville, Hamilton, 65. Same for you in Gadsden now. 67 Asheville, Springville area there. Back to Talladega, Lincoln, Pell City in the mid-60s. Aniston about 60. 68 same for Alex City down at Clanton and heading out today to the pool. Perfect weather for that for the most part. Uh, this morning looks good through lunchtime. This afternoon may have to dodge a few spotty thunderstorms popping up. 92 degrees the high temperature expected there by 3 o'clock in Birmingham. 92 Jasper same for you Fayette. Tuscaloosa 93 Alabaster Talladega by 91 Clanton Alex City 90. Gadsden Aniston about 92 again for today above that average of 85 to 86 for this time of year. Now again pretty quiet weather here in town. No problem for us. The Gulf South is really quiet, but you go up to our northwest. There is our next cold front moving through parts of Kansas, Missouri area, back over to Illinois. And as that moves on closer to us tomorrow, it's going to have to bring us some rain. Strong to severe storms expected to erupt along the front today. That's going to transition a little farther to the south, including down here in northwest Alabama, along in northwest of Interstate 59. Again, we're talking about maybe some gusty winds, maybe some small hail mixed in and some heavy rain with the storm. So nothing significant. I don't see expecting very many any severe storms, but something we'll have to watch tomorrow. For today, again, a few pop-up showers and storms from lunchtime on into 4 o'clock this afternoon, looking pretty good. As we head into 7 o'clock tonight, any rain's kind of gone into tomorrow morning. Looks pretty quiet as well. And then with the heating of the day tomorrow, a line, a broken line of storms coming ahead of the front will move on to northwest Alabama, bringing us some scattering of storms from lunchtime to about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then a little low, but as the front moves closer to us overnight, this is midnight on Friday, we'll see some more storms coming in. Some of these could be on the strong side as well. Some heavy rain and gusty winds. They'll move through overnight. So by Friday morning commute, most of that rain is gone. It can't rule out maybe a one or two stray showers popping up behind the front, but really not looking for much in the way of rain as we head into Friday. Now going into Saturday, the weather looks good for the Garth Brooks concert there. Protective Stadium, 7 o'clock. You can see temperatures pretty warm at 86, but falling to the 70s throughout the concert there. So it looks like the weather is going to be good and cooperating for heading out there. How about a look at the tropics? Today is the first day of hurricane season. Watching the remnant here uh, just off to the southwest of the Merida area there in Mexico in the Yucatan Peninsula. That was of course uh, Agatha. That's going to drift its way to the Gulf here in the southwestern southeastern Gulf and has a high chance of becoming a tropical depression moving potentially into South Florida. And again, if it could get a little stronger, possibly becoming our first named storm of the year, that would be Alex, but no threat to us, which is good. 90s today, tomorrow with their scattered storms tomorrow, better weather for the weekend and the next week, hot, humid and yes, a few pop up storms. Michael, but well, they've still no major accidents or 